Getting Push Bullet set up on your Android phone and on your computer is really easy. Here's how you do it. So, first thing is head to the Play Store on your phone and download Push Bullet. I've already done that and you can see the Push Bullet icon right here on my home screen. I'm going to go ahead and tap that to open the app. From here, it's going to ask me to sign in with either Google or Facebook. I'm going to use my Google account, so I'm going to go ahead and pick it here and hit OK. The app's going to then sign me in, and the first thing it's going to do is ask if I'd like for the app to show me my phone calls, texts, and more on my PC. Now this is great because you can see and dismiss your phone's notifications, like text messages and emails, right from your computer. I really like this, so I'm going to go ahead and tap down here to continue. Uh, this will take you to a screen where you can enable Push Bullet. Might not look exactly like this, but all you need to do is hit Enable. From here, it'll say, great, you're almost done, and all you need to do is head to pushbullet.com to be guided through the last steps. Tap Done down here, and the app is good to go. So, let's put our phone down, <clears throat> and head to our computer, and then we can go to pushbullet.com. So, again, we'll be able to sign in on the page using either uh, Google or Facebook. I'm going to use my same Google account, and from here, I'll see there's a quick two-step guide to getting Push Bullet set up, and the step one is finished because I already have the app on my phone, which is great. So all I need to do is get the extension on my computer, and all I need to do that is just click right here, and a little pop-up will come up and say, you know, Push Bullet wants to be installed. Click Add. And just like that, you'll have Push Bullet on Chrome. And it'll even open a window and say, congratulations, Chrome's good to go. So I'm going to say, great, I'm good to go. And just like that, the window will close. <clears throat> From here, you can see the Push Bullet has recognized you've done both of these steps and tells it you're, you're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and close these. And just like that, Push Bullet is set up on my phone and my computer. It was that easy. At this point, if I get an email or phone call or text message on my phone, I should see it right on my computer too, which is really convenient. Um, that's not all Push Bullet can do either. So, let's say you're browsing a really interesting article on the web, like this one here, and you want to get the link to this onto your phone to either share in a messenger or maybe open and read later. Instead of having to email yourself or some other painful thing, all you need to do once you have Push Bullet set up is just click our little toolbar icon up here in the top right, and then pick the device you'd like to send this link to, and we've already pre-filled the rest, and just click push. And just like that, you'll be able to see over here that that notification has been sent right to my phone. So I'm going to just unlock it to prove this. <clears throat> so right there is the exact same link as I have on my phone on my computer, and I can either copy it, I can share it, um, or I can just read it by tapping that notification. It really it doesn't get easier or faster than that. Um, and not only are links really easy, but you can do files as well. So here's how you send a file. All you need to do is take the file you want to send from your computer and then just drag it over onto the website and then drop it. And this will work for pictures or other files, including like Word documents or Excel um, or PDFs. Then up in the To field here, all I need to do again is just pick the device I want to send it to, which will be my HTC One. And I'm going to give this one a title even so I remember what it is later, which is Funny Picture. <clears throat> and then I just click Push. And just like that, that picture is now sent over to my phone um, and automatically downloaded so that I can either view it or share it right here. And uh, there it is. So if I tap Share, I can send it to any of the other apps on my phone, which is really awesome. Um, getting files around from your computer to your phone is well, that's about as easy as it gets. Um, it does work the other way, so if you do happen to have a link or file on your phone, you can show it, or sorry, send it to your computer, um, and it works basically the same way. So we hope that helps. Thanks.